Looking at the sky is considered one of the most peaceful things there can be. But behind all that peacefulness is something terrifying. Neil deGrasse Tyson has just issued a warning. Betelgeuse's supernova could end everything. Join us as we bring you all the details about this terrifying warning and how it might just destroy the Earth and end life as we know it. Betelgeuse stands as one of the biggest stars ever discovered, with a mass approximately 20 times greater than our Sun. Its size dwarfs our Sun significantly, marking it as a supergiant, holding an extraordinary status in the cosmos. Despite its immense size, from our perspective here on Earth, Betelgeuse might appear like just another distant star. But that's just the thing. Its true nature transcends mere appearance. Located over 640 light years away from Earth, this distance, though vast, holds immense cosmic significance. Even if we had the hypothetical ability to travel at the speed of light, an achievement beyond current human capabilities, bridging this gap would still take over 640 years. Under normal circumstances, without such extraordinary speeds, the journey to Betelgeuse would extend far beyond our comprehension. We would need more than 12 million years to make it to this place. That's longer than the entire history of human civilization on Earth itself. This time span just shows the staggering scale and distance of Betelgeuse in the vastness of the universe. Betelgeuse's recent intense vibrations have brought attention to the misconception that stars are relatively serene objects in space. This supergiant has always been known for its dynamic nature, characterized as a pulsating red supergiant because of its continuous changes. The star's brightness undergoes noticeable alterations as it expands and contracts. During expansion phases, Betelgeuse appears brighter, while during contraction, it dims in the sky compared to its usual visibility. These shifts occur over extended periods, ranging from tens to hundreds of days. What's fascinating is the considerable range in Betelgeuse's brightness, fluctuating from approximately plus 0.5 to a more intense magnitude of zero. Variations like this in luminosity are substantial among stars. These changes follow recurring patterns, with some cycles lasting as short as 185 days and others stretching up to about 2,335 days. Occasionally, these fluctuations exhibit a more regular pattern, known as the V-band magnitude, allowing astronomers to record and study these periodic changes in Betelgeuse's luminosity. Betelgeuse's recent observation in February 2021 marked a pretty massive decrease in its V-band magnitude, registering at Y1.614. While still relatively bright, this switch up from its typical radiance is what actually caught the attention of astronomers due to its deviation from the star's customary luminosity. One of the most interesting aspects of Betelgeuse is its distinct reddish appearance. Stemming from its cooler surface temperature, approximately 3500 Kelvin. This temperature stands in contrast to our Sun, which operates at a warmer 5500 Kelvin. Despite Betelgeuse's larger size compared to the Sun, its cooler temperature results in it being dimmer in apparent brightness. This lower surface temperature affects the energy emitted per unit of surface area, contributing to Betelgeuse's perceived dimness despite its immense size. With all of that in mind, Betelgeuse has still generally maintained a relatively stable nature. It's always been at least somewhat predictable as it went through the motions of being the giant that it is. So what's going on here? That involves careful observation. Like, we observe the moon. Speaking of which, if you've ever wanted to get the closest look possible of the moon, check out the link in our description to get your very own mini-moon. One of the most popular explanations for what's going on, though, involves Betelgeuse's evolutionary phase and the ignition of its helium shell. As this supergiant progresses through its stellar life cycle, it consumes hydrogen in its core through nuclear fusion, gradually converting it into helium a characteristic trait of red supergiants. As hydrogen fusion slows within the core, the star's outer layers expand, 
leading to its enlargement during the transition to the red giant phase. At the same time, a helium-rich shell forms around the depleted hydrogen core. Within this helium-rich shell, intense heat and pressure initiate a secondary nuclear fusion process known as helium shell burning. Here, helium nuclei start fusing to create heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. This fusion process generates significant energy, countering the gravitational force attempting to compress the star's outer layers. This intricate interplay of nuclear fusion within Betelgeuse's layers may be causing the recent surge in activity observed in this massive star. The transition to helium shell burning introduces a less stable phase compared to the former hydrogen fusion in the core, leading to intriguing consequences. During this phase, periodic energy buildups and releases occur within Betelgeuse's structure, leading to strange and unexpected pathways. These fluctuations in energy output create instabilities within the star. The increased energy production prompts the outer layers to expand, followed by subsequent energy release causing them to contract. These expansion and contraction movements manifest as pulsations, which we see as Betelgeuse's brightness variations over time. The intense energy generated during helium shell burning can generate really potent stellar winds, particularly in red supergiants like Betelgeuse. These winds carry away a significant mass from the star's outer layers, contributing to a redistribution of matter and energy within the star, significantly impacting its evolution. This rhythmic expansion and contraction of the outer layers resemble the rhythmic breaths of a star. These fluctuations, similar to a stellar heartbeat, translate into observable changes in the star's luminosity, revealing the dynamic and pulsating nature of Betelgeuse. Within stars like Betelgeuse, a fascinating process called stellar convection takes place, playing a pivotal role in regulating the star's internal dynamics. Stellar convection orchestrates the movement of matter within the star, ensuring a delicate balance between its core's energy generation and the radiant output from its surface. At the star's core, where nuclear fusion generates immense heat, the surrounding material becomes hotter and less dense. This heated material expands and becomes buoyant, rising towards the star's surface. With cooler material from the star's surface begins to descend towards the core. This continuous interplay between rising hot material and sinking cool material creates convection currents, a dynamic flow resembling a celestial conveyor belt. These currents act as pathways, facilitating the transfer of energy from the star's core to its outer layers, ensuring a regulated distribution of heat and maintaining a balance crucial for the star's stability. But as a star progresses through its life cycle, its core undergoes crucial transformations leading to significant consequences. At first, the core's temperature rises due to its contraction, intensifying the movements of particles within it. This heightened temperature facilitates a new phase of nuclear fusion, initiating the fusion of heavier elements like helium and carbon, a shift from the star's earlier hydrogen-dominated fusion phase. As fusion progresses, heavier elements continue to form, culminating in the creation of an iron core at the star's center. Iron fusion marks a critical stage as iron requires more energy to fuse than it releases. This shift disrupts the delicate energy balance previously maintained by fusion reactions. Unlike earlier fusion processes that released energy, iron fusion doesn't produce a net release of energy, compromising the core's ability to generate sufficient outward pressure. Because of that, the core loses its equilibrium between inward gravitational force and outward pressure, leading to the eventual collapse of the iron core under its immense gravitational pull. This phase marks a pivotal turning point in the star's evolution. The gravitational collapse of Betelgeuse's iron core could trigger a catastrophic event known as a supernova explosion. During this event, the star's outer layers are violently expelled at extraordinary velocities, releasing an immense amount of energy. To distant observers, this explosion would manifest as dazzling bursts of light across the sky. 
This collapse generates an immense shock wave that races outward from the core, impacting the star's outer layers with incredible force. The shock wave's energy is so colossal that it can dismantle the star's structure, ejecting its outer material into space at velocities beyond imagination. The energy released during a supernova is staggering, often rivaling the brightness of an entire galaxy for a fleeting moment. This event can surpass the light of numerous individual stars in the surrounding region. Even though Betelgeuse is really far away from Earth, if it were closer, we'd suffer the worst of the effects. The potential effects of a nearby supernova, particularly if it led to a gamma-ray burst, would indeed present significant challenges and risks for life on Earth. The impacts span from health consequences due to increased UV radiation to disruptions in technology, power grids, and even global climate dynamics. The threat of elevated UV radiation due to a weakened ozone layer resulting from a GRB poses a substantial risk to human health and ecosystems. Increased UV exposure could lead to skin damage, higher cancer rates, and immune system suppression. Agricultural productivity could suffer, affecting food security, supply chains, and global economies. Plus, the potential disruption of electronic systems and power grids due to electromagnetic pulses could paralyze critical infrastructure, leading to widespread power outages and challenges in accessing medical services and communication networks. Beyond direct physical impacts, a nearby supernova could influence Earth's atmospheric dynamics, leading to altered weather patterns, temperature fluctuations, and changes in atmospheric chemistry. These alterations might further exacerbate existing climate and air quality challenges, impacting agriculture, ecosystems, and global climate stability. Even a celestial event millions of light years away could have massive negative effects for our planet and the human civilization as a whole. This might be that one event that causes so much direct and indirect damage that the Earth and other planets in the universe might not be able to make it out in one piece. But will that really happen? Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.